Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. Howdy, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. This is going to be brief because this is going to be one of the longest videos I put together. It's a test of faith. It's a stranger mission. You can start as Arthur, but you have to finish as John. And you have to gather 30 bone locations, which is why this is going to be long, because I'm going to show you those locations. And that's about 30 seconds each clip added together plus all the other footage yeah so let's get on with this a test of faith you can only start this mission as arthur you have to finish it as john there's about 22 bone bones that arthur can find throughout the area and then our john has to find eight more in order to complete this stranger mission. And Deborah McGinnis is an archaeologist who is frustrated because her colleagues don't take her seriously. And ultimately you'll find out why. But let's approach Deborah. Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. What are you doing? I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! And there you have it. Now you have to find 30 dinosaur bones. Again, Arthur can find 22. John has to find 8. And I'm going to start with the dinosaur bone locations now. You can do the bones in any order, just like the rock carvings, but the first location I found was in this cave. And I creep up and I find the bone right here. One of 30 found. You can mail each one out individually or in bunches. The first location will get you a quartz chunk, which is good for crafting the bear claw trinket. Now, at the end of this, I will show you 
the location which is northwest of Wallace Station. The next location is right here, and it is by a cliff near some S road, not too hard to find. And then the location on the map is right here. The third location I found requires you to climb down a well shaft, and yeah, this one is actually near the oil derrick you will find. It's real easy, and once this third location is discovered, I'll show you on the map where it is. The next location is right here, and I'll show you on the map once I chart down the location. And it is not too far from where the third bone location is. Right here, you can see on the player, and it's not far from the oil derrick. The fifth location is located out in the open. By the way, you can use your eagle eye to locate these bones. And this one, I'll inspect, and then I will show you the location of the dinosaur bone. And this is number six. Number seven is not too far from number six.
I admit I have a guide that helps out somewhat, but you can also look this up on the internet to find the locations.
And this is the final bone fragment one can find as Arthur. John will have to continue once the Old West opens up. I kind of find that stinks, but then again, you know, it is what it is. Let's get on with finding bones as John.
John has discovered the final phone location. Now he will have to mail out the information to Deborah McGinnis, and eventually he'll get a letter from her inviting her to her um, homestead. And yeah, it'll get interesting. You can mail out the locations from any post office, and I chose roads for John to mail out the final bone locations. All you have to do is approach the clerk. You're in luck. Next mail train leaves soon. Good is there already. With the final locations mailed, you have to wait 24 hours in day before you will get a letter back from Deborah McGinnis inviting you to her homestead to see her marvel. 24 in-game hours after you've mailed out the final location, you will receive a letter from Deborah, and you can pick it up at any post office, and it's an invite. You can inspect the document here, which I'm going to do, and it is a letter from Deborah. It is, come on, damn it. It is a letter that invites you to see the Totalosaurus at her homestead up in the firewood rise in cumberland forest and you come as soon as possible it's an interesting event you can immediately ride to deborah's homestead which i didn't do but now i am approaching it with john there's going to be some interesting conversation. Uh, it's been about eight years since Arthur had sent her any bones and locations. And John is, well, finishing things out. Hello there. Who are you? I'm a friend of Arthur's. He passed a few years back, unfortunately. Oh, uh, sorry to hear that. I've been sending you the bones since then. Oh, I wondered why there was such a hiatus. Well, come in, come in. I cannot wait to show you the fruits of your labor. You'll be quite amazed. I was right, of course. Quite right. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you. Here, just as I thought. Totalosaurus West, Elizabethus. The Elizabethan Megasaur. That's uh, quite a monster. Oh, 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 it'll change everything. It's incredible. Tail. Fins for swimming. Three pairs of legs so we could run extra fast, even in mud. Large tusks for doing tusky type things. And long spines that acted as wings. They said I was a fool, a silly old woman. <laughs> I was right all along. Oh. This is the happiest day since, well, since my sister died. But that's another story. Thank you. I will, of course, share the credit. Oh, that, that's okay. I like to keep a low profile. Really? Yeah. I must give you something, something valuable. Here, take this. The handle is genuine stegosaurus bone. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> All the best. The same to you, sir.
as you can see, the Totalosaurus, or whatever the heck it is, is made up of multiple different dinosaurs and bones. Now, after this mission, you can kind of go into Deborah's house. The jawbone knife is actually nice. But once you go to Deborah's house, you can do a little looting and pick up some stuff. You won't even lose any honor. But, yeah, it's not very nice. But why not? I mean, all you get is a stupid knife for all the work. You might as well get something out of this. Loot the drawers, pick through things. Like I said, you can do a little looting and you won't suffer any penalties. Pick up what you can and move on in life. If you found this video informative, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. I post four video game related videos a week, plus some specials and shorts, and you don't want to miss out. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. Thank you.